uh, uh, that's not serving you. We watched uh, um, what we watched yesterday, The Wizard of Oz with the kids. You feel me? We be just watching random shit at times. And um, one of the biggest aspects in that Wizard of Oz is knowing that you can always go home, but you do have to walk this yellow big road, your solar plexus chakra, right? With a certain level of assertiveness, a certain level of confidence. Your sun has to be shining. You have to feel like you're the shit. Noah Lyles feels like he's the shit. And it's not no uh, what egotistical thing. It's just something you must do in order to be the person or vision you're claiming to be. So then if you're walking this yellow brick world, right? And you get to, you know, the poppy siege or or the uh or the the 72 goatias right then you you know that you're just going through a process right where in the poppy seed field you are going to fall asleep that's just you being robotic in the human right but if you have the heart and the mind to pick yourself up and put you back on the yellow brick road then you'll be able to keep going keep going you feel me and that's what this thing is about and so now and i'm gonna do something i'm gonna give y'all some solar plexus work to do because it's important especially in this time but one thing you definitely want to do is get you some pineapples get you some pineapples cut them up and go outside and sit in the sun and think of yourself as a winner you want to do that heavy you feel me uh um also sun gazing of course um, we, you know, we got to get to work to restore that sun inside, right? Like I was talking about the shining. That's what we are. We're shining bright. So in order for us to, uh, keep shining bright, we have to do things to change our vibration and the outlook that we see about ourselves. Nothing in this existence should dictate how you feel about yourself. If you don't love yourself, none of this shit going to work. None of this stuff is going to work. And, you know, I want to keep on referencing that because a lot of times, you know, what I see is spiritual people uh, believing that they're spiritual because they are falling into the death realm, but they might just be suicidal. Hey. Tell you what it is because you're you don't have no longing for life, which is the reason why you came down here to experience, right? And to bask in the experience, right? And not to shit on the experience, then you know you're caught up in a conundrum with what your true purpose is. Because everybody has some reason and some some purpose driven to come down here. It's just about you expressing it and not giving a fuck. And until you do that, everything else will just keep on being robotic. I hate this place. And then and that doesn't serve you at all. You feel me? Very, very important family. Very, very important. Okay. It said, right. yeah, real up? quick. Um, uh, I was meditating yesterday and usually I see a white light, but yesterday I seen an orange light. Yep. That's, that's sacral chakra work. Definitely. Okay. Okay. Definitely get in. So start having fun, go ride bikes, go hula hooping, go to the pool and swim, play. You feel me? Laugh, do all that fun stuff because essentially we got to remember our joy. You feel me? And that's the biggest character in the, in the inside out too was joy have to remember our joy because when you see a child right they're in this childlike spirit and they're all they're doing is expressing some kind of joy and laughter they're trying to figure out how to keep the joy going you feel me as you learned in the previous chapter emotion is energy emotion and elevated emotions carry a higher frequency than survival emotions so if you want to create change you have to do it from a level of energy that's greater than guilt greater than pain, greater than fear, greater than anger, greater than shame, and greater than unworthiness. 
In fact, any low vibrational energy that you are feeling cannot carry the thought of your future dream. It will carry only a level of consciousness equal to those limited emotions. It'll carry only a level of consciousness equal to those limited emotions. Therefore, if you are going to perform something that's unlimited, you better feel unlimited. So that's what we're talking about. You are you are limitless. You feel me? Go watch the movie again. You're limitless. So it's just about changing that frequency and vibration, because essentially, if you want to seek out freedom, you got to feel free. Right. So a problem uh, comes. Right. That's why I say y'all can't watch that conspiracy theory crap. A problem comes a along. Right. Don't look at it as a problem. Look at it as an opportunity of some kind of goal or or oh, OK. Spirit is giving me this play because I need to work on this. Spirit is giving me this play because I need to look at the world a little bit differently so it, oh thank you spirit you gave me this flat tire who i need to be able to get a little bit more manly you feel me don't look oh why is this me oh fuck me no look reverse it reverse 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 it look you gotta reverse everything you're not something why me fuck situation happens you address it for you to win for you in the wind you're making this up this is make believe this is an illusionary construct where you can run your video game the way you want to run it problem is you will succumb to an idea that you're creating based off of your past traumas and based off of your mama's past traumas and you seeing her situations and she's saying whoa well, what was me what was me you feel me and you just create creating the same idea. Well, what was me? What was me? Right. Instead, a situation happens is it, it doesn't feel comfortable, but address it or be mindful to put it in a particular pos position, superposition that says, oh, OK, that happened because I'm supposed to learn something from this specific blah 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 situation you feel me so be excited about the problems right or not problem but the the uncomfortable situations that may arise right don't beat yourself up bask in it and say oh okay i'm learning anybody does that put a one in the chat if you do that now or if you're to put a two it to Put a one in the chat if you're attempting to do that now. Change the problem the, into gold every time. Because essentially, if you can create your own world like Bobby did, right? And say, oh, okay, well, yeah, this is working out for me. Oh, okay, this is working out for me. Oh, gratitude for that. Oh, another bill, gratitude. This is making me stronger. You feel me? It looks uh, deceiving based off of the the uh, the definition we're giving it, right? Give it another definition, and then you'll turn up and turn out into a new world of adventure. You feel me? That's why, you know, that the reason why I stopped drinking and smoking was essentially me not actually needing it because when I would wake up with hangovers and stuff, I'll be like, oh, okay, I see what you did there, spirit. You are helping me with this hangover, right? To see that which was painful and stuff to see that oh okay i don't really need the alcohol you feel me because it's 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 not or whatever oh thank you spirit I, i'm beating the game right remember when we showed you that bashar thing you're raising yourself up to another higher vibration by dipping down low vibrationally coming up dipping down up down and then you're all of a sudden you're high vibrational 
So that goes for the conspiracy theory things too. The only reason why I say don't really dwell in it like that is because essentially what it's doing is putting you in the problem oriented mindset where, oh shit, I got to watch out for Biden now or apple cider vinegar, shit. Damn, what the fuck was I watching the other day? I was watching something, it was deep. What's wrong with apple cider vinegar? Well, you know, they saying Bill Gates got it now, or whatever, I don't know, you know, I it's just, but you know, this thing, but this is what I'm saying, right? What the fuck was I just watching? Oh no, that was Wizard of Oz, right? In the Wizard of Oz, at the, the beginning, the fortune teller, right? In the Wizard of Oz, which is the Wizard of Oz, right? When she was at home in Kansas, she met the for fortune teller, right? He said, "Yeah, I got this crystal, man. It's from Osiris. I, I said, he said it's from Osiris and Isis, and Queen Cleopatra had it. And this is a powerful, magnificent civil. It's gonna charge your energy, right? He was just making it up or exaggerating because he's saying he can make anything real, right?" Or in the show, which is absolutely one of the best metaphysical movies to watch, they're saying like, nigga, you can make anything real. You feel me? You got all, I got all some socks. I got, a, these are my lucky socks. Run that idea to oblivion. Look, we do it with the bing bong. Nigga, every time I see an armored truck, I get money. Every time. That's a fact. Hey, Dream, that's a fact. That's, that's a, a fact. fact. No, I'm for that's a fact. Fact. Yeah, it's not no. This ain't no goddamn hocus. This ain't no uh, whatever. You feel me? That's a fact, nigga. I put that Ganesha pendant in my car. I don't see no traffic, baby. I swear to God, nothing. I be like, damn, I'm not seeing no traffic. <laughs> hey, I promise you. Look, no trap. I don't know what it is. I be driving, light turns green. Sometimes I be mad at that shit because I be trying to, I be like, damn, I needed to stop real quick. <laughs> All right. Hey, y'all gonna hear me, baby. Chaos in the blood. I'm telling you what it is, dog. That shit is live.